First things first, though, I want to go to our Nancy Liu. She's our correspondent. She's live out in front of the home where that 911 call originated, the home where the report was that there were big green men and a big crash out in front. So, Nancy, you had a chance to actually talk to the family members today. They're, they're so skittish. They don't want to go on camera, but you talked to them. What did they say? Yeah. Yeah, they refused an interview request, but I did talk to Angel. He is the teenager you hear in that 911 call. I also spoke with his father. I can tell you they are both skittish, they're anxious, and they're scared. And the family is basically in lockdown inside their house. They've shut down. Um, they claim they're being threatened. And by people who, you know, are accusing them of engaging in an elaborate hoax, uh, which they deny. They have stuck by their story that something happened in this backyard, that there were creatures out there. And, you know, in talking with people around here, it wasn't just Angel who saw it. His brothers saw it and his father also came out and saw it and I you know met Angel I met his father um, they seem like reasonable people he seems like a nice kid and it seems like a very nice family here so okay there you go so that's intriguing I mean the plot thickens talk to me a little bit about what you're learning about the streak in the sky it was caught on the police body cam perhaps that ring cam also captured something because it sounded like a, a whizzing whistling crashing sound what are you hearing about it yeah, there seems to be consensus that there was a meteorite that night. But was there something else? Because we're hearing of something streaking from east to west, but also from west to east. And I can tell you that there's an entire community of people around here who do not discount what this family is saying. I spoke with someone today. Uh, his name is Ryan Burns. He is a podcaster. He is the founder of Space Wolf Research. He actually headed out yesterday on a boat out to Lake Mead, spent the entire day out there with a source that I also met today. They were searching for anything unusual because there were reports of possibly something being shot down or pieces of a non-human craft falling into Lake Mead and also suspicious activity out there. But take a listen to this because he said there's all kinds of credible chatter that warranted further investigation. Absolutely, the sources that we're getting it from are 100% credible. They are not only former um, military intelligence in many cases, but still have connections to people that are boots on the ground actually involved with this case. Lake Mead, we are hearing that there was sightings by people around the lake who witnessed uh, what appeared to be a lot of military vehicles that were around the lake looking for something um, and posted up for quite some time directly after this event. And does military activity uh, lend itself to the claims of the Pentagon whistleblower of some kind of covert military activity? Also, the streak in the sky. Uh, we spoke to the American Meteor Society who says the body cam video, that green ball, they're almost certain it was a meteor. It was a meteor that was larger than normal, probably the size of a basketball up to a beach ball, traveling, traveling at tremendous speed. And when it strikes the atmosphere, it starts to vaporize and that friction causes a very, very bright flash. We're certain it's, it's, it was a meteor because of the duration of the event. Most everybody reported that last between two and five seconds, and that's much too fast to be a re-entering re satellite or a rocket. So, uh, and the fact that it was seen over such a wide area is, is a darn good indication that it was a fireball. 
That's 21 reported sightings across three states, California, Nevada, Utah. So that fireball seen by a number of people, but only here do we have the claims of seeing non-human creatures. And again, this family is standing by that story and they're afraid to elaborate anymore. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.